Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohi and this is the day 19 of that service portal training. In this day, we'll talk about that how the SP model can be more customized. So I got a message last week uh, that how we can make the SP model in the customized way or how we can show the SP model, uh, SP model with some more HTML content. So today we'll discuss that point. So if you say, see here in our last video, we talk about the SP model and we talk about the SP model dot open. So let, let me open that. So if you click that um, SP model dot open, it is opening with that some particular widget, right? And then, um, you know, if I uh, click the close button, I'm just showing some messages, right? Here, I'm just putting some message. Do you want to close? Now the question is then how we can put HTML content and based on the HTML content, I can take some actions. So that we'll talk about in our today's class. So if I go back here, uh, um, you know, control and edit, and I'll open that um, widget that we have uh, edited here or I modify there. If you see this client, the client controller, under this client controller, we have a two block. One is the open block, another is the close, I mean, else block. So open block means whenever you click the open, this block will be executed. And then when you click that uh, close button, this block is executing, right? And both the cases we are using the SP model. Here we are using the SP model dot confirm. And here we are using the SP model dot open method. And here we are calling another widget. Now question is that, how can we show this message in HTML content? Okay, so can we show the HTML content or not? So that is my uh, that is first question. So let's first try that. So I'll put that B here, and then I just want to block uh, bold this want keyword, and let's see that this is working or not, right? So I just put that B and then slash P. Uh, I mean, this is the HTML content that I have added. So so to give you that that if you put that uh, some text here it should work let's try that so i'll just refresh that here and then if we click the close you can see this want this text get blown it means that we can pass any message in between this one in a, if you put this in html format or any format it should work so you can see i can mark this text into the bold okay now I got another question that how can we change this button? So how can we change this uh, cancel button uh, to OK button to the different button? So that options also we do have. So let me do that. So what I'll do, I will uh, do that where option something like that. OK, here what I'll do, I'll open a JSON and then JSON I'll put some of the parameter and then based on that I'll put some value. So first thing first I'll do that. The first thing I'll put the title and here I'll put some title. Let's say that I'm putting the title equal to uh, please confirm. Okay. So this is my title and whatever title we put that, that title will be rendered. So we already use this method here. Now we will add one more parameter called message and under this message, what we will do, we will put some message that let's say that I'll put that under this P, let's say that hi and then um, I'll put an exclamatory sign and then I'll put that in a bold that please uh, confirm and bold end you want to close this ticket okay so these things I just put that and then next thing is that we can put few uh, few more I uh, parameter. I'll come to this part later. Now instead of this confirm button, we'll just change to the open and then what we'll do, we'll pass this parameter here. So I will just change and then pass this parameter. Let's save that and see what is happening first. So I just save that and if we refresh our page and then if we click the close, I can see that I'm getting a title called please confirm. And here, whatever HTML content I am binding, these HTML content are binding. Fine. Now, next thing is that we need to add some buttons because by predefined, we are getting two buttons. One is a cancel and OK. But we want to, uh, you know, redefine those buttons or we want to change these or maybe uh, change their level or maybe want to modify that. For that, what we will do, we will use the buttons uh, tag. So, we will put that buttons here. And then 
under this button we can have multiple buttons right so we'll put an array so under this array we will put some uh, value okay so let's say that we have a buttons and under this button we can have multiple value so we are going to put that the first thing first i'll put that in the button called label and here i'll put that whatever label we want so let's say we'll say that uh, you know uh, cancel so this might be one um one button and maybe i'm just changing that to cancel or maybe i'll just say that close ticket so this is one button and then i have to define the value here so i'll put the value and then i'll put the inside the value called close okay so that is one uh, one button so i'll copy these things again and comma i'll paste again so we have a two button and this time i'll say that uh close pop-up something like that so two buttons and we have one is the close pop-up another is the uh you know close button and i'll just say that pop-up okay and let's save that and see that this kind of button is rendering or not first our page so if we refresh that and click close you can see we are getting two button right now one is a close ticket another is the close pop-up two button we are right now getting but if you see notice that the color is previously there is a one color which was highlighted right for that what we have to do for that we need to pass one more uh, parameter called primary and then under this primary we just need to be passed the true and save that okay so let's save that once we save that and let's refresh that and if we click close i can see the close pop-up is by default right now is highlighted okay so let's assume that you want to change these uh you know this background color or this button background color how can you do that okay for that what we can do here i can add one more parameter let's say i'll add that one more parameter called class and then i can add that called close something like that okay close pop up something like that and just save that so this is my class that I'm just trying to inject into this, um, uh, you know, object. Let's refresh that. And if we click close, right now you can see if I inspect that element, I should be able to see this uh, class here. So let's go back here. And if you see this button, uh, we have a class and then you can see under the class, we added this call close pop of this class. Now in using this class, we can change any modification or any color on this particular button. So let's do that. I'll go back to the CSS. Under this CSS, I'll put this class name. And under this class, we can say that call. Right now this color, the text color is coming as a uh, black. We can change that call color and then say that white, something like that. Or red maybe. And just save that. So this color should be in red the close ticket this button or this text color should be red let's see that so now you can see that um this color or this color changes are not reflecting here so these color changes are not reflecting here what we can do we can i mean because this is a pop-up and this pop-up is does not holding here this pop-up is not present to here what we can do we can add this css we can just remove this css and add to our page so what should i add that i should add onto the onto the my page so for that what i'll do i'll go to this service portal here under this portal we have a page and then page name is my task so we can update or add this class to my task page so i'll just add to my task page and save that and let's try to do that thing so we'll click the close and you can see the color got changed to the red color so basically what happens right now whatever css you are putting that css you can't put to your widget that css has to be put into your page so that the it should work because the pop-up is not anymore into your page the pop-up is under the page so you should add the css into the page now if you want to change that 
uh, you know background color on the hover you can change that or if you want to change any modification on the css label let's say that i want to change the background color let's say that um like this okay or maybe this or any any other color okay so i just need to be at this property and then uh, into the page and it should be work as per expectation whenever this button will be closed or whenever this button will be click what action should be taken that also you can define to define that uh, you can see we have a value called close and then we have value called close pop-up two value we have declared right one is a close and close value and what we can do actually under this answer you can see we have a answer right so we have a an answer and this under this answer we can define that what action to be taken care so if that value equal to close pop-up right so whenever um, this pop-up will be came up and you click that it will pass through the answer and what i am trying to say that if the answer equal to close pop-up which is nothing but this button uh, value you can see this button value is the close close ticket value is the close so if the value is close okay at that moment i should be able to close this incident if the value is different like if you click the close pop-up the action should be different so that action we can define here what action should be happen so let's refresh one more time right now you can see that incident is resolved if you click the close pop-up we have a two button one is the close pop-up another is the close ticket if you close pop-up nothing is happening really no changes if i refresh that nothing changes because for close pop-up we have not we have not defined anything so close pop-up this is one and this for for this value we have not defined anything but for the close if you see this close uh, value we have defined that we should close the uh, task right so if we click the close and then close ticket so somehow it did not change anything if you see there is no value changes why because we need to put that answer dot value okay and let's save that so it it will be answer dot value now let's try one more time if i refresh here and then click the close incident and if we close pop up nothing is going to happen but if you click the close incident and click the close button so this way you can add buttons you can customize those button and you can add um, html content and you can uh, you know do whatever you need it so that's it for today if you have any question let me know in the comment section thank you very much have a great day